Hi, this is Taylor Armstrong for BeautyTicket.com. I'm here today with Erin Moffitt, professional makeup artist and my own personal makeup artist who helps me get red carpet ready time and time again. Today we're here also with Cine Cosmetics and they've put together several looks for us to help you get red carpet ready at home. The kits consist of eye palette, a cheek, a lip liner, and a lipstick, and a gloss. So you'll be ready to go. Now, Erin, today on Julie, which palette are we going to be using? We're going to be using the plum palette, so a smoky plum color, um, get away from the dark browns and the dark um, grays for her today. I love doing a smoky eye, but I think it's really fun and interesting to use plums and incorporate those different shades and not always go to your blacks and grays. Sometimes they can get a little heavy. It's good on every eye. Yeah. It really is. And, it's, and it is good to get away from the blacks because everybody thinks that a smoky a smoky eye has to be black and dark, but um, with these plums, it's just, it's beautiful. Go ahead and close. I think a lot of the time, when you're getting ready for a party, you're wearing black, so to have the a different shade on the eye, a plum, but the plums are also gorgeous with the pastel dresses mm -hmm. and a lot of those jewel tones. It really works with anything, so. Well, yeah, that. and not a lot of people expect it. You know, they, they think that, you know, you're gonna show up and everybody's gonna be wearing that same eye, but it's nice to kind of shock them a little bit. Go ahead and look up. So I'm taking just this, um, this color, the lightest of them, and I'm just kind of using it as a powder to, to prep around the eye. Going to an, a red carpet party is, um, you can be a little bit more dramatic. Yeah, I think so. I think when you're it's going out. It's the fun out, of it. Yeah, even if it's a holiday party or it's a birthday party, any sort of evening out, it's sort of fun to put on a little bit more eye makeup than you normally mm -hmm. would for your daytime look. and spruce things up a bit. So that's a gorgeous color. It's Isn't a, a it? really neutral and I can see that it's going to set the, the brighter, heavier tones up really beautifully. Oh, absolutely. Now these don't seem to have much in the way of shimmer. Which is, yeah, exactly. They, there's two of them. Well, maybe three. The second one, the third, and that last one that have a little bit of shimmer, but again, staying away from that glitter. So it's mm -hmm. good on every age. It's not going to get into those creases or maybe, you know, you are worried about your pores and sometimes you know you never know what somebody may feel a little insecure about so this just works perfectly with every complexion. Yeah I definitely feel like at, at my age I'm not comfortable with glitter but a little shimmer mm -hmm. especially for evening is nice and it reflects beautifully in photographs. Oh yeah yeah for sure the light hits it you know the flashing of the bulbs on the cameras hit it and it's just really nice. It's complimenting. And then you could take all of these colors in just a lighter version for day. Oh, yeah. You know, you can even use this, these two darker ones as a liner if you wanted to. You I, know. I do like to do that. And just after, a little powder liner, yeah. Especially when you're, you're not great at making a perfect line. It's nice to go over it with a little powder, smudge oh, it up a smudge bit. smudge it, yeah, for sure. So I've taken this second color and just used it on the lid. Gone all the way up to this crease right here. And kind of form the eye a little bit. And it's just pretty. Go ahead and look forward. And you can see it's just already kind of taking shape. Mm -hmm. It's really beautiful. Those soft blush colors are gorgeous. Mm -hmm. So this is where it's going to get a little bit more dramatic and exciting and fun. We're going to take this darker color. Go ahead and close. And we're just going to work it just oh, all over pretty. the lid and into that crease. And if it falls a little bit, don't, don't even worry about it. We've already prepped her skin, um, and she has her foundation on and everything. But, you know, you just take a brush, and you just whisk that right away, and maybe you can go back in there and just throw a little bit of powder on there, and it'll be fine. So a lot of people worry that, oh, my gosh, once they get that right. trickling of the darker colors, now what are they going to do? But it's just easily removed. I love that color. Oh, it's, it's beautiful. These wine colors are one of my favorites and I have green eyes so you know any the browns and the greens you know when you have that it just it pulls out the color so much and even the blues you get those flecks of yellow that really pop out with the with these plums. It's a nice transition away from the brown. I have a tendency to get in my rut with the browns, and this is just a little deviation. It's not too adventuresome, but right, it's yeah. I mean, and and it it's safe. Yeah. You know, it's really something. The browns are beautiful, and I think that, 
you know, everybody should own the browns for sure. But these plums, you know, you can't you can't go wrong with them because they're just they can go from day to night so quickly. Yeah. So really, you could put these colors on during the day and then just amp them up a little if you have a day to night event. Go ahead and look up. And I'm going to just go underneath a little bit. Now, are you using this third color as well? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, that's the one that I've got on right now, got on my brush. I'm just smoking it out just a little bit. And again, just. What are the biggest mistakes that people make with a smoky eye, do you think? They take it a little bit too seriously, <laughs> <laughs> just push um, it a little too far. You know, it's meant to be messy. Mm -hmm. and ha you are supposed to have fun with it, right? So what happens is everybody thinks, they'll always ask me like, how do I get a smoky eye? Like, what are the steps? And the steps are really, you could do it with a Q-tip, you know? You could just get in there and have fun with it and, and really enjoy the process of making it look beautiful. And you blend so often with your fingers. And you, I do. That's such a great tip and a tool that all of us have, but it's just because the oils in your finger help to blend? Yes. I, I'm, I'm a firm believer of that. There are probably some people that'll say no. <laughs> but, um, but yeah, I think it's good to get in there and really work with that canvas and, um, and manipulate the colors a little bit because blending with your finger versus blending with your brush is it's more hands-on, you know, you're going to get it to move a little Sometimes the tools bit. can be intimidating to those of us that are not professional Absolutely. makeup artists. So being able to blend with just your fingers and things that we're a little bit more comfortable with, I think that's a great idea. And with the smoky look, you can't, you can't you blend can't too wrong. much. Exactly. Well, and this is great because it's actually come with brushes, so mm -hmm. it's easy to, to work with as well. You know, oh, yeah, this got the is a liner nice brush. blendable one. Yeah, it's really good. Great. So this is actually the liner palette that they've got, and um, it has six different colors in here. It's really beautiful. We've got the blues, the maroons, and the browns. Um, I'm going to stick with the maroon because, you know, why change it now? Now, these are the cream eyeliners. Yeah, the cream okay. eyeliners. Senna's cream eyeliners, I love them because they go on so beautifully, but yet you can still manipulate them and smudge oh, yeah. them. I think you and I talked about okay. the intimidation factor with some of the liquid liners mm -hmm. as opposed to cream, and cream is... Obviously it's, less forgiving. I mean, yeah, more forgiving. Yeah, it's pliable. You can just play with it a little bit more. When you get those the liners um, with the pen, like the pen liners, mm -hmm. you know they dry rather fast. So a lot of people they don't understand the difference between a cream. They think that that's what's going to happen with all of them, and that's that's what's sad to me. I really think that you know. So many women out there, they try one product and because that doesn't work for them, they get a little intimidated and then they just, they like freeze up. Right. So it's good to start with just what, what you can be messy with. The smoky eye, the cream liners, you know, the beautiful peachy lip that we're gonna do. It's well, in this nice. color palette with the liners, there's so much variety in here. If you want to do a brown day, you have your browns, mm -hmm. you know, then you can go the plum eye. Yeah. And when with you're those. ready to use some of the blues, you have that available as well, all in one, one packet here. And I travel and I'm on the go a lot. And if you're going to take something with you to the office, mm -hmm. it's nice to have a liner that you can transition again from day to night. Yeah. Throw it in your purse. They're tiny little Absolutely. compacts. For sure, and even traveling, like, you know, if you're going in a plane or anything, you know, sometimes it's just so hard to carry around a kit of stuff, you know, to throw in a few different things is great because you've got all the colors in there. These are gorgeous, and she is an Emmy-nominated makeup artist, so she knows Fabulous. what colors work on everyone, just like down. you. She has great formulations, and... I think that's probably why they are so pliable and easy to work with as oh, she recognizes yeah. that when she sends her clients out with makeup, I know you get nervous when I leave the house with makeup in my hand. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so. Well, because everybody's gone through it where they, you know, you prep somebody and prime somebody for the red carpet and then all of a sudden you see them and they have like powdered their face to kingdom come and you're like, oh my gosh, no, they just change it on the way. <laughs> It's not good, but um, but it's really nice to have somebody who knows the business creating something that we can all appreciate and love and want to use, you know? And the pigments, too. These pigments are great. I would never promote something that I didn't believe in. Yeah, that And it great. comes in three different color choices, so it's really appropriate for anyone. You have this palette, mm -hmm. which again would be great for day or night. It oh, has the green. I'm in love with the green right now. I just... Um, worked on a Victoria's Secret shoot and it just like we fell in love with these green colors on 
on darker skin tones, but also on the lighter. Green's very understated, yeah. you know? It needs to kind of come back around, <laughs> I feel. Yeah, I Just like so the too. plums, you know? I think it's time for people to get into the color right. of it all. Go and I think really having it all in one kit, it allows you to go step by step and it takes away some of the intimidation. Oh yeah. Well, because you know what needs to be done next. Right. And as you learn on your own what what those steps are, you'll gain more confidence and go out there and, and, and buy more things and, and kind of build your kit up a little bit. Each time and we've explore. experimented with color, I'm always hesitant with you at first, and mm -hmm. then, of course, you always end up being right. right. <laughs> I'm always happy I did it, because otherwise you end up looking like the same person all the time. When you have a special event, it's fun to look back and have tried something new. Oh, yeah, absolutely. So this is the, um, these are the cheeks right here, and I just went ahead and put the, um, this m kind of a m more matte color, the pink on there, and now I'm going to go in and just do a little bit of highlight on top of the cheekbone. So the lighter, the highlighter. Yeah, the highlighter. we typically put above the cheekbone. Yep. And down the bridge of the nose? Mm-hmm. Okay. Oh, that's yeah. beautiful. I can see the difference. Isn't already. it gorgeous? Mm -hmm. And you can use a little bit of a smaller brush, but I'm just using this brush because I, so I love the So you're applying, again, the highlighter above the Yep, eyebrow. everywhere the light is going to hit, right? Okay. So above the, the bones of the, eye, the eyebrows, a little bit right here cheeks right here and then maybe just even just take a little bit of a smaller brush you want to maybe make her lips look a little bit fuller you're going to do just the cupid's bow a little bit right here okay it's a little bit more mm -hmm. powder pouty and then underneath right here and this just gives the contouring really does make a difference. Oh, absolutely. You really notice it in photos. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> For sure, yeah. I mean, that's what it's all about, right? And this cheek color is just universal. I can tell it would just work on any skin it's tone. It's gorgeous. Yeah, yeah. It's really beautiful. I mean, you can use that on anybody. Yeah. yeah. And so that one is in all three kits because mm -hmm. it is so flexible with all the different skin tones. Now, we've already primed the lips. Just a little bit of... Um, not lip gloss, but like chapstick, something just a lot of people like to use a lip primer, which is good too. And that just makes this move a little bit smoother across the lips. Now this is a double-ended mm -hmm. liner. Yeah, so there's two different colors on here, super neutral, one's a little bit darker. Mm, I'm up. using the lighter of the two and kind of just putting it all over the lips to gain that. So in order to keep the lipstick on through the night, do mm -hmm. you recommend covering the entire lip with a liner? I do. I think that it works best. And you keep know, that it inside way, the line. Keep it inside the line, <laughs> yeah. Because otherwise what happens is you'll end up eating off the, the inners and then you're just left with that liner. You want to create that that real full lip, and um, it's best when you put the liner all over. So it really serves as a base to help hold the lipstick in place. Exactly. I, think I, I believed, when, before I had you in my life, that you <laughs> did just line the outside. And so right. it's good to know that you really need to cover the whole lip. So now we're ready for a little gloss. So now we're going to put some gloss on, yeah. Just started to apply this uh, coral color right here. Just working it. Oh, it's really sheer. Really beautiful. Yeah, and it's good because it just picks up the liner. You know. And when you're really going with a heavy smoky eye, this is a, a moderate smoky eye, but if we really mm -hmm. made it heavy, you'd really want to go with the lightest gloss possible. Uh, yeah, I mean, unless you're unless you're really going to a specific type of party, you know, maybe that, that maybe it's a masquerade thing and you want to do that real dramatic on both. Um, Again, it's just what you're comfortable with, you know. But this is this is more on the dramatic side. Again, keeping with that red carpet um, party mm -hmm. is a little bit more dramatic. So we've done these beautiful plums and a great nude lip, and yeah, it's great. I think this is great for any night out. Actually, it looks I agree. Beautiful. It's great for dinner, date night. Oh, totally. Yeah, <laughs> but it is award season, so it's yes. Fun to go to all the different parties, and you look beautiful. So, Yay. and regardless of which of these red carpet party looks you choose. You can get them at beautyticket.com. They retail for $95, but we have them at a special value for you. No matter which color palette you choose, you'll be red carpet ready. This is Taylor Armstrong for beautyticket.com.